This video contains material that may be disturbing to some viewers. Parental discretion is advised. Magic. Perhaps one of the most controversial five-letter words in the world. Is it real? Is it superstition? Or is it just plain interesting? Regardless of what you believe, it has been one of the most debated and feared things throughout the centuries. Crystals seem to fall under a magical umbrella as well. Have you ever really looked at one? And I mean really looked at one held it in your hand and really examined it, its shape, its texture, or its energy. A mineral is typically defined as an inorganic substance that is formed naturally in the earth. Every mineral has its own unique chemical composition. Many witches, shamans, and other healers believe that they have their own energy. The most commonly known crystal is quartz, which is what true crystal balls are made of. Though technically crystals are classified as inorganic, many witches and healers consider them to be alive. They believe every crystal admits its own subtle energy that interacts with the energy fields of everything around it. They have been used as talismans and in jewelry since ancient times. Magical beings consider crystals to have the same power as natural phenomena, like blowing winds, flowing rivers, and the full moon's pull on the tide. Crystals have various uses. They usually mark a sacred circle, can be used to honor deities as good luck charms. Some stones and crystals are even said to be sacred to particular gods and goddesses. They are also used in healing, divination, or manifesting wealth and love. Hematite and lodestone can be used for grounding a person or magical energy. Amethyst for cleansing, rose quartz for healing, and often rubies are used for protection. Nearly all types of crystals, gems, metals, minerals, and shells have been categorized for their elemental and magical correspondences. Many witches keep their crystals on their altars to generate or collect specific types of energy. They carry stones as amulets and charms, and even make crystal elixirs to internalize a specific stone's attributes. So, whether you're a believer or a non-believer, I think we can all agree that magic, and crystal magic for that matter, can always be at least a little wicked. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Wicked piece and the story and narration to go along with it. Uh, prints of this piece are available in my shop at kellypaints.com and I'm also running a sale and it's 20% off until December 10th and there is no coupon code needed. Uh, the giveaway is still going on and all you have to do is be 18 or older and type the word of the day in the comment section. Today's word is magic. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.